Well, good morning, everybody. Um, it is 7-11 right now, bright and early. I got up a little earlier this morning, but uh, it was still dark out, so I really didn't want to come out here and start uh, knocking stuff out. But uh, I've already done some some painting, some a little light sanding, some painting on some of this stuff, uh, some climbing, uh, most importantly. We need to uh, switch it into overdrive. Uh, I am tired, I am beat. Uh, I've been headed almost almost every day, uh, nonstop, uh, from morning until sundown, uh, trying to knock everything out, get the seats ready, jumping from project to project. Uh, we got hella parts. Let me spin you guys around. Let me show you guys what we got going on here. Uh, we got a bunch of parts that are printed, ready to go for pedals, working on the um, seat adjustment for the height itself. Uh, we did receive a bunch of parts that we're going to be installing in the mid, hopefully soon. Uh, we still got to put some holes here for our side stake and tiller on the FO side, uh, hopefully before painting. But I did start putting an initial blue coat dark blue like midnight blue type stuff on the actual mip structure i didn't finish yesterday because i was exhausted so i kind of i kind of stopped and i'm like that's it i'm done for the day um pedest uh, center pedestal we're gonna need to do some light sanding on it before we start spraying um the mip panels themselves have already received one coat of primer uh it is nice and dry now because i did this last night um i am going to lightly send everything and then apply another coat of primer hopefully i'm gonna be able to get rid of most of this uh, uh print 3d print lines that you get this artifact that you get whenever you uh you print this stuff so hopefully we're able to get rid of most of that um again working on the seats um first thing this morning i'm gonna go ahead and move out my uh hot rod we're gonna move the hot rod out the way and then uh, we're gonna get going. So um, stuff is coming in quickly. Uh, my 75 inch TVs, uh, QLEDs, very, very good quality TV. Uh, literally the TVs that I bought for the simulator are better than the TV I have in my living room. Real me that Batman, but shut up dog, shut it. Anyways. Anyways, uh, the TV stands that I'm using for this particular project are coming in tomorrow. Um, another thing I purchased. Um, we have all the panels for the MIP. The only thing we're missing is the overhead panel, which should be coming soon as well. Uh, once that comes, we can start wrapping stuff up. Um, but it's coming along. Uh, the next huge purchase is going to be a, a PC. Uh, the PC is going to be one of the one of the biggest expenses i think i think what we are going to do next is get the main structure of the mip painted fully and uh, probably go ahead and paint i'm probably going to go ahead and paint the side pedestals and the center pedestal as well the way it's done at least the first coat and then while that dries i'm looking into applying another um another uh coat of primer onto the actual mid panels themselves because I want them to be as smooth as possible. So um, the first coat has already been applied. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly sand them and then spray them again with another coat. Uh, so uh, that's what we're doing. All right, kids, remember safety, safety first. Goggles, mask. I know I should probably have a respirator, but it's all good, it's just paint. <laughs> I'm like, it's just paint. Oh, um, I'm delusional. Anyways, fellas, by the power invested in me, let us spray. Uh, as you guys can see here, we are applying the first coat on the uh, MIP structure or I'm finishing applying the first coat because I started the day prior uh, but I, I came to a stop um, 
you'll notice here shortly uh, as we as I continue to uh, paint the MIP structure that uh, I'm not going to pay very close attention to the full structure because you're not going to see any of that once the MIP panels and everything is installed. But what I will pay very close attention to is the actual area where the pedals are going to sit. Uh, so you're going to see me uh, giving that area a little bit more love than the rest of the MIP because that particular, those particular areas are the areas that are going to be visible uh, when you are in the actual cockpit. And as you can see, now here is what I'm actually doing that. I'm actually giving two to three coats, I believe I ended up doing in the actual uh, pedal, the uh, rudder pedal areas. Uh, that way they were nice and dark blue as they should be. Now here I went ahead and uh, off camera ascended the side panels, oh I'm sorry the side pedestals, I went ahead and uh, sanded all the corners, make sure everything was rounded, uh, give it a nice good sanding and now I'm applying the first coat on the actual side pedestals as well. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not painting the top of the pedestal because uh, if you recall, uh, I've said it earlier in, uh, in the videos series that uh, the top is going to be covered in black leather. So uh, no need to be wasting paint on that portion. Now I'm applying uh, extra coats of primer to the actual MIP panels because my goal is to remove as much as the 3D print artifact uh, as I can. Obviously, uh, I was already I've, I'd already sprayed one coat of primer on there. I give it a good little sanding to all the parts as much as I could, honestly. And now, uh, as I said before, I'm applying a second coat. Um, by the time I was done with this mid panels, I've actually lost count of how many coats I actually applied on them. <laughs> And then I quickly moved while the mid panels were drying. Um, I went ahead and moved to the center pedestal. Obviously, after a thorough sanding of it, rounding all the corners and all that good nonsense I did off camera outside, um, I started spraying that as well. Now that the mid panels and the actual mid structure and side pedestal are drying, I decided to tackle the seats. Um, I'm taking some stuff off like the seat belt 
that we don't really need anymore. You see me here shaking my head. Yeah, we don't need that. Whatever. Trash. And um, the actual mounts that mount the seat onto your vehicle. I need to chop those off. And here I quickly realize that the manufacturers of cars, they don't want those seats to actually come off the cars. <laughs> to tell you that I was having a hard time getting those damn thing off is an understatement. But eventually I got them all off. After chopping those damn thing off and totally exhausting all my energy on that, uh, I went ahead and uh, gave it a little bit of sanding, make sure that it were all smooth on there. I was trying to punch out the rivet, but it didn't come out, so I decided to just leave it. And then on a, on a later day, I'm just gonna drill holes there uh, so that I can mount those on the uh, actual platform that I'm gonna build for the seats. Well guys, I am freaking exhausted. Um, I even forgot to turn the microphone on. We're recording with the uh, onboard microphone here, the camera, hopefully. Audio is good. I'm just too tired to get up and get the microphone that's right there on the bench. Um, I don't have the energy anymore. Um, I think I'm gonna call it for today. We, um, we got a lot done actually. Uh, the MIP structure is all painted uh, in that dark midnight blue color. Uh, the plan is to wrap the top of the side pedestals in black leather. Uh, in the same fashion, we'll be wrapping the top of the glare shield in black leather as well, which I have rolls of that stuff thanks to uh, Mr. Turbo. I am, I'm sorry guys, but I am, I am completely exhausted i've been at it since you guys saw what time it was like seven o'clock this morning uh it is now it's literally 2 50 right now almost three o'clock in the afternoon um i've been at it not stop i just stopped for about 30 minutes to go get some lunch and then i came right back out here uh i think i must have done three coats yeah, three coats of that midnight blue on the uh, MIP structure and the side pedestal, and two coats on the uh, on the center pedestal, which I do want to do one more coat on that. Um, I did do literally like three cans of primer on the actual uh, MIP panels for the front. Uh, let me show you guys what's going on here. So the MIP panels themselves. Uh, are looking really good actually um, I did I don't even know how many coats of primer but uh, uh, probably too much <laughs> so uh, you can still make out some of the lines from the print job uh, but it's not gonna be that bad especially once we uh, paint the another two or three coats of the actual color they're supposed to be uh, which I have I have it ready to go uh, I think it's gonna be good but that's what the uh, mid panels look like right now. The prime, I'm gonna, I could, they're dry right now to the touch, but so I could potentially paint them right now. 
Uh, but like I said, I'm just I'm just exhausted, man. I'm not I'm not gonna do it. Plus, I just want them I want them to dry really good. So we're gonna let them go overnight. Make sure they're nice and dry, and then go ahead and start uh, spraying them with the actual Airbus. Uh, I think it's called like Pigeon Blue or something like that. Uh, the actual Airbus uh, panel uh, colors. So it's gonna contrast contrast real good. Uh, beside this dark navy midnight blue, I guess. Uh, that's what they call it. You can kind of see that uh, some of the wood grain still shows, but it's not it's not that bad. Uh, it actually looks pretty good. Like I said, I do want to give it another coat. That one came out actually really good. Uh, that one right there. Uh, so maybe I'll do... That one still got some spots there. I'll do another coat right there. And definitely give the Cine Pedestal on the coat as well. But as you can see, um, obviously, I wanted to get all this stuff painted and done here before laying down the actual carpet on the, uh, on the flight deck here. So that's one of the reason why I uh, I wanted to get this done as far as painting is concerned because I wanted to use this platform as my painting platform um, as you can see we did put the holes here for the uh, side stick and the tiller on the FO side as well um, obviously once that once, as that stuff starts, starts coming in we're gonna be installing it so uh, tomorrow I got some TV stand coming uh, the next day we have 375 inch TVs coming uh, we already got all the panels for the mid the mid panels here we got the the lighting panel we have obviously the monitors uh, we got the terrain on ND switch landing gear hydraulic pressure chrono landing gear panel uh, we have all that stuff so once once we get this painted and it's nice and dry and everything is complete we're gonna install the monitors on this stuff. We're gonna install all the panels and it's gonna go on the MIP structure and it's gonna start taking shape and I can't wait to show you guys. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, um, like I said, I'm just gonna call it quits. I hope you guys enjoy this little series that I'm doing of my uh, build. If you do appreciate it, if you do enjoy this, this type of series, please, please, please make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, hit the like button, hit that notification bell, that way you know every time I upload a video or go live, which I haven't gone live very much lately because of what's going on in the background over here. Uh, so please, please uh, accept my apologies for not doing more streams and stuff like that, but understand that this is what I'm doing day in and day out every day from early morning until late afternoon. Um, and uh, yeah, it's wearing me out. Anyways, like I said, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing, hit that like, notification bell, and all of this stuff. If you're a returning subscriber and member of the channel, I truly do appreciate your help. But yeah, thank you guys so much, man. I can't say it enough. And until next time, I'll tell you guys what I'll always tell you. I salute you all. Please continue to stay safe, have fun, and as always, peace out.